boys and girls, I'm Lissa, and I'm excited to share with you the next part of our Big God story. But before I begin, I have a quick shout out. Hey, Clara, good to see you. <laughs> All right, well, let's jump in and get started. Do you guys remember last week, I mentioned that Jesus was a really good teacher. And the reason why he was such a good teacher was that he would tell stories. Now, these stories had um, a special name called a parable. And remember, we talked about how parables or these stories always had a lesson. Well, Jesus told another story, and this one is really pretty cool. You see, there were two sons, and they worked with their father. Now, the youngest son said, Dad, I want my inheritance now. Well, friends, that was kind of like saying, Dad, I wish you were dead right now so I could get the money that I would get if you were dead. It's kind of hard to believe. Can you imagine? That was really sad, I'm sure, for the father. But you know what he did? He did exactly what his son asked. He went ahead and sold some of the properties and um, sold some of the animals and whatever he needed to do to gather up the inheritance. And he gave it to his son. Well, the second son was like, see ya. And he took off into the city. And there he spent his money wildly, foolishly, doing all kinds of things that weren't very honorable. Well, sure enough, before he knew it, all of the money was gone. He had burned through his entire inheritance. Well, then he didn't know what to do. And so he actually got a job taking care of somebody's pigs. He was watching the pigs. And you know what? He was so poor that as he was standing there watching the pigs eat, he thought, man, I am so hungry. I wish I could eat that food that they're eating. Gross! I mean, can you imagine? Pigs like to eat slop. Like all of the leftover food that are on people's plates at night, you know, after dinner and you're scraping it into the garbage can. He wanted to eat all of that leftover gross food. Maybe it had been sitting around for a couple days. He was tempted to eat that. That shows you how hungry he really was. So as he was standing there watching those those pigs eat their food, he realized that his father's servants were way better fed and way better taken care of than what he was living. I mean, he had to sleep next to the pigs. He, had, he wasn't even getting fed. Um, he was thinking the pigs, what they were eating was way better than what he had. And so he decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go home and ask if my father would take me back as a servant. I mean, life would be way better than what I'm doing now if I went back as a servant. So that's what he decided to do. He's headed back to go see his father. Well, did you guys know that this father loved his son so much that he watched for his son every day. He would go out and stand out in the distance and watch from, from the field seeing if he could see maybe the highest part apart the highest point of his property of standing on watching for his son to come back well guess what one day it came true his son really did he saw the shadow in the distance there he is i think that's him and the father was so excited he raced out to meet his son. And when his son came up to him, he grabbed him in a great big hug. And he was so excited. He was hugging his son. And, and the son was like, wait, wait, dad. I, I, I just was wondering if you would just take me back as your servant. But this, the dad, he didn't even, he wasn't even listening. He was yelling, hey, hey, everybody, come here quick. Come here, he's back, he's back. Let's have a great big party. Hey, go get that lamb. Go kill, go kill the calf. We, we should have a big party. Go tell all the friends. Quick, get my cloak, my special cloak. And he was gathering all of the stuff up for his son's arrival. He was so excited. 
In fact, he treated his son as if he was a special guest instead of somebody who was a servant or or even um, somebody who he looked down at because he had been treated so poorly by this person. Well, that night they did, they had a huge feast and a huge celebration that his son was back. He was so excited. Well, do you remember at the beginning of our story, there was a second son. You see, the oldest son stayed with his dad and he worked the land and he took care of his father's property. And so this son was feeling a little grumpy. Dad, um, why are you having this huge party for him? I mean, he left. He wanted you to die so he could get his money early. But I've been faithful to you. I've been here all this time working for you. Well, the father was so loving. He said, you know what? I am so thankful your, your brother is back. But that doesn't mean I don't love you and all that you've done for me as well. You see, the father was super loving and he loved both of his sons, even though both were struggling in different ways. Well, friends, why did Jesus tell this story? Hmm. I think it was because Jesus wanted everyone to know that the father was just like his father, right? God. You see, God is the one waiting, looking for those that were lost. And they came back to him in cheering. Look, look everyone, he's decided to choose me. He's decided to follow me and to cheer and be excited. You see, Jesus wanted him, um, everyone to know that his father, God, is a loving God, a loving father who wants all of his children to choose him. You see, remember we talked about that rescue plan. God created a rescue plan with Jesus. And all we have to do is choose Jesus and we are rescued from sin. And that is because our loving Father has created that plan in order for us to be able to live with him forever. Wow, I am so glad. God is a loving Father who created a rescue plan for us. Let's pray and thank him for loving us. Lord, thank you so much for giving us special stories in the Bible that help to teach us about your character. I can't even imagine how amazingly loving you are and how you welcomed this son back who didn't love you and was treating you badly and yet he was welcomed with open arms and that's what you do for us Lord Jesus it doesn't matter how much uh, bad stuff we do no matter how horrible we act or how terrible we sin you welcome us in um, with loving arms thank you Lord for your your lovingness for loving us for being love Lord and showing us that every day in your word we thank you we ask Lord that all of our friends listening would turn to you and receive this rescue plan they've put into place. We thank you, Lord, for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, thanks again for being with me today. I hope you're working on the Remember Verse, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.